Hello Henlo Titians, that's my new name for you, Henlo Mathematicians. Today in Mental Fluency we're going to play um, Multiplication Area Battle. Okay, so for this game you need your squared paper. I suggest you use the squared paper with the bigger squares. Two WoWo board pens, notice I've choose, uh, chosen rather two different colours. I'm going to play blue, my partner's going to play black. And you need two dice. You might want to change to three dice as you get really good. But to begin with, we're just going to play with two dice. It's a really straightforward game. Okay, first thing I'm going to do, shake the dice two times two. So on my square, I make an array that's two squares by two squares. I know that two times two is four. So I'm going to write the answer four in there. My array should take up four squares. Now it's my partner's go. I'm going to roll two dice and I have six times five. So I am going to draw an array of six by one, two, three, four, five. And there we are. And we know that six times five is thirty. Okay, you will notice how we have both started our arrays in the corners and I suggest that's the best way to play and you want to try and tessellate your arrays that means to make sure that your arrays join together so you don't leave odd gaps. Okay, my second go, one times one or well, the worst one you can get, tiny little square, one times one is one. That wasn't very good, off you go. Right, my next go. I have three times three. So three times three and that is nine. If you want to make it harder, you can introduce a third dice. And the way that I like to do this is to shake three dice and then add two of them together. So here I've got a five a five and a two so I'm going to add the five and two together to make seven and do seven times five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven times five, one more. So I went a bit wonky then, never mind. Seven times five is thirty-five. And so the game continues. If you want an extra extra challenge, you could use four dice and do the, add to both the values of the dice together and you could play on the other side of the paper which has super small squares. Thanks for watching and have fun playing Multiplication Area Attack.